Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman Forge Bushcraft. With a little addition, when I did my last um, video about uh, staying warm, I had spoke about bedding and I had talked about sleeping bags and blankets, but I had not really gone into the sleeping bag very much. And I had an earlier video where I talked about sleeping bags, but I thought that I really should update it for this. So, in a nutshell, a sleeping bag is always going to be warmer pound for pound than a blanket because of the synthetic material and the fact it totally encloses you. So a good quality sleeping bag is a very good investment and an excellent thing to carry in the field. But there are certain techniques you need to utilize to improve and increase your potential for warmth. One of which is the fact that you need to store the bag at home loosely. Don't compress it real tight and put it up on the shelf for two years before you use it again. Because the synthetic fibers are much better than the old fibers at it, but the time will come where the fibers just get compressed and don't want to fluff back up. When that happens, you start losing your loft and the efficiency of the bag starts going away. So store your bag at home loosely in a larger, I, I like to use a laundry bag to put mine into and just fluff it up and put it in there. I know what it is by looking at it and at the same time it keeps it from getting compressed. Next, when you've got to where you're set up, you've made your camp, you've got your bedding, you've got your core temperature up, you've got everything in line, that's when you open up your sleeping bag. Sorry for the helicopters guys, but I'm right next to a base. Whenever you take it and open it up, and do not open your bag until right before you go to bed. If you open it up ahead of time, you run the risk of getting it wet, getting it dirty, getting it soiled as you're moving in and out of camp, spilling food onto it, whatever. It's necessary to keep it dry to make it work well. So, you've waited the time, you open up your bag, and now you do this. Sit there and fluff it up. Try to whip as much air into it as you can until you've got the whole bag fluffed up so you've got the most loft as possible. Then you get into the bag, settle down, get your blanket over the top or whatever you're using for a cover, and you spend the night. In the morning when you get up, just as soon as you get out of that bag, take the bag, turn it inside out, and put it in the sun. Because the more, <coughs> excuse me, the moisture that comes out of your skin, and remember we fought very, very hard, <coughs> excuse me, we fought very, very hard trap this microclimate around us so that nothing's getting away including that moisture that's coming out of our skin so we want to turn the bag inside out into the wind into the sun and let it dry out while we're cooking our breakfast or whatever and breaking camp and the last thing we do is we turn it right side out compress the bag into its bag and put it into our pack and on the trail we go should a bag become very soiled Follow the instructions for your bag on how to launder it. Some bags can be laundered easy, some are not. The disadvantage to a synthetic bag that I have personally found down here in my south is eventually they get kind of funky. Body odors and things like that starts permeating from the bag. Sorry guys. I've got a uh, field over here and usually I come here and there's nothing here. And today all the Apaches are going to play and touch and go with that airfield. So, appreciate your service, guys. But, with the bag becoming soiled, it starts getting a kind of a funky odor. And so you need to follow the laundering instructions of that bag in order to properly launder it and get it clean and, and do it properly. Of course, stay away from hot dryers and things like that because you run the risk of cooking the material and causing it to wilt. So, down sleeping bags are a very good sleeping bag. I, the one that I really love is a down bag. I know it's not modern synthetic, but it's the warmest for the weight and it compresses the best for me. Disadvantage to that bag is I gotta keep it dry. If it gets wet, it loses its ability to hold heat. I have a synthetic bag. This is a synthetic patrol bag I was using for demonstration. I use a lot of them during the summer when I just need something to throw over me. I have a very big heavy arctic type bag that's rated to like 40 below. That bag I bought in the late 80s and has served me very well in extremely cold conditions. But it's a great big bohunkin bag that takes up a lot of space. You gotta have a bigger pack to carry it. Um, 
Sleeping bags will always be blankets for warmth, but the versatility of the blanket is always going to outdo the sleeping bag for use in camp. Okay, in our next video, we're going to talk about location. We'll talk about ground and placement. Then we're going to move on to fire and how to make the shelters that's going to keep you the warmest and best. Sorry again, guys. I hope this video helps you. I hope it gives you some ideas. Please leave your comments below, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.